Hello class, and welcome to another exciting week of Photoshop. This week we're going to be building all kinds of amazing brushes, including things like this amazing snail, which will change colors as we paint with it, which I think is just absolutely phenomenal. We'll go over all kinds of settings and all sorts of amazing things that you can do with the brushes and all kinds of ways to save and store them. Heads up though, I think on video three, I had a brush that had a color associated with it. I was trying to load in that brush and I was unable to do it while I was holding down the control alt key. Um, it turns out that I was not on the most recent version of Photoshop and I was suffering from a glitch. So I just sort of stumbled through and kept going, but I did want to let you know that if you are on version 19.1, you should be able to load a brush without loading in a color if you've stored it with a color. Now that doesn't make much sense now, but in a couple of videos it will make more sense. One other alert, I was just doing it at the end of the videos without even thinking about it, uh, but if you change between tools that use brushes, some versions of Photoshop will store the last tool you used with that uh, the last brush you used with that tool. For example, now I have this uh, burn tool with this fun airbrush, but if I go back to my brush, uh, it will have my fun airbrush again. But if I got my cool snail and I went back to the uh, tool here, you'll see that it's got a fan brush and the burn tool has the airbrush. So it's kind of unusual, depending on the tool that you're using, it will override, uh, it will override the brush that you've selected. So with that in mind, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you save your brushes as you work so that you don't lose them uh, immediately. And uh, it's become a second nature to me, so I forgot to say it later in the video. So I'm saying it now. At the end of this assignment, we're going to have created uh, a number of brushes to uh, show me, the instructor, and uh, I'll take a look at them. I'm always excited to see what you guys come up with and here's just the little brush demo that I did. You'll put it in a little Photoshop document as I lose my layers, but not a problem. F7 will bring that right back up. And I will be able to peruse all these amazing brushes that you make. And I will show you in this video how to make all these crazy brushes and everything that's going on with those great brushes. So bear with me, we have a lot of videos this week. It looks like we're looking at about uh, ooh, uh, just shy of five hours worth of videos, but it's worth it. It will give you a strong control over brushes. Uh, have fun, and if you do start start skipping some videos, please don't forget to watch both parts of assignment uh, five so that you can understand how to do assignment five. All right, that said, I will let you get back to it. Have fun.